Hi, myself Dr. Vivek Shashindran and today I am going to talk to you about complications of thyroidectomy. Well, thyroidectomy is probably one of the most common surgeries performed in the ENT head and neck department and many a times when we counsel a patient for thyroidectomy, the patients are really concerned about the complications that can be associated with thyroid surgery. So today I shall throw light into some of the common complications, I would rather say compatibly common complications. So the incidence of complications in thyroid surgery is very rare. However, there are few complications that we generally need to discuss with the patient prior to surgery. The first and the foremost is the nerve injuries. So when we talk about nerve injuries, there are two nerves that we are talking about. One is the RLN that is a recurrent laryngeal nerve and the second one is the SLN that is a superior laryngeal nerve. So as you know that the thyroid gland has two lobes and in close vicinity to these lobes you have two nerves on either side so that is a recurrent laryngeal nerve which runs to the voice box so in any thyroid surgery one of the most critical steps that we encounter as a surgeon is identification of this nerve and dissecting the tumor free of the nerve now most of the situations it's possible there should be a good plane between the nerve and the tumor However, in certain scenarios, there could be involvement of the nerve per se, especially if it's a malignancy or the nerve is kind of tethered to the surface of the tumor, wherein we will have to manipulate the nerve a little bit. And this could lead to a change in voice or a hoarseness of voice because of the relative immobile vocal cord on the side, on that particular side where the nerve is kind of stretched or traumatized. Now, very rarely, if the nerve is infiltrated by the tumor, especially if it's a malignancy, we may end up sacrificing the nerve. Or even still, a rare scenario is a transection of the nerve, the nerve getting cut during the surgery. Now, if it's unilateral, most of the times, we don't have much dire issues in the sense the patient usually would complain of hoarseness of voice, which kind of recovers in most of the patients. If not, you can always correct it later. The second nerve is the superior laryngeal nerve or the SLN. Now, if this particular nerve gets injured, the patient may complain of inability to raise his or her voice, the pitch. So, elevation of the pitch may be a problem that these patients encounter. The third scenario or the third complication that we discuss about is hypocalcemia. So, many a times in the vicinity of the thyroid, there is, there is invariably in all patients, you would identify a small gland called as the parathyroid. So, the next critical step in surgery is to identify the parathyroid and retain it in the body. Now sometimes, especially if there are very large tumors, identification of this parathyroid gland becomes difficult or that because of excessive manipulation, sometimes the blood supply of this gland can get affected and the patients can have symptoms of hypocalcemia because parathyroid is a hormone that, that kind of controls the calcium levels. So these patients can have symptoms of reduced calcium level in circulation which will manifest in the post-operative period and this is something that can be corrected medically again in most of the scenarios it tends to be transient it kind of recurs over a period of time however you can also have permanent issues and the least commonest of the complications is probably a bilateral vocal cord paralysis so if both the vocal cords get kind of involved then the patients can have a breathing difficulty or strider where both the vocal cords come together and the patient kind of has a difficulty in breathing. Now this is probably a very distress, distressing scenario. However, we do have solutions for these complications as well. So overall, most of these complications are transient and even if it's a permanent injury, we do have solution for most of these complications. Thank you.